Hello the internet! It is Saturday the 16th of April 2022 and welcome back to the channel. And welcome to everybody who may be watching outside of YouTube. This is an actual YouTube stream. Uh, once a week I go live on YouTube. I am broadcasting it uh, across the stratospheric atmosphere. I want to get as many crew in as possible. In the YouTube chat, I do see Arrow Gamer, Kraken Day in Sydney today, Ben on. I'm not up in Sydney, but I will be later on. TKK9090, morning everyone. Good day, TKK. Shyla Rose, good morning. Hey, Dugski, Arrow Gamer, Shyla. Of course, whenever I see Arrow Gamer, I, I struggle to conclude that that's Dugsty, right? But I'm gonna be with Doug later on. And that's kind of the point of this stream, actually. This stream, I'm gonna keep this quite a quite a short stream. I want to tell you about some new tech. I want to explain how I'm going to be using that new tech on a stream later on today. And I want to sort of compare that tech to my existing tech. Um, that's the plan. So yeah, if you're watching this and you're not on YouTube, come on down to YouTube. Just go to, I guess, just go to YouTube slash wacka wacka dicka docka daka and get to Gibbs a minute. Just type in Gibbs a minute YouTube. You'll see it. YouTube is a funky one for uh, trying to find somebody, but you know my handle gives a minute. And when you get over there, you'll be in this chat here with everybody else. So thank you all for being here with me. Appreciate you. We are going to keep this relatively tight, quite concise. And because then I'm going to travel up to Sydney and I'm going to use this gear. But I wanted to do this stream because it's kind of difficult to talk about the product while I'm using it. I'm going to do the best I can to show it, but right now I'm not using it. So I'll be able to show it to you. I see eight watching and I see five like a ruse. Can we get the likes to match the view skis? Eight verse eight. I see eight V five right now. We'd love to get that a little sneaky, snappy, tappy, a little higher up skis. That'd be fantastic. Rich, hey, gives and givers. Now, Rich, I did see you over on DLive as I came in. I'll just confirm that again there. Yeah, I saw you there. And Charlotte put the link in the D in the DLive chat. Thank you, Charlotte. Appreciate, appreciate the lemon and I appreciate the view on, on DLive. But yes, come on down to the tubes of you. That's where this stream's living. So let me tell you, you remember about a five weeks ago, maybe six weeks ago, we did a stream looking at a new product from Teradek. Now the product was called the Teradek Wave. Now the reason I thought that was unique is because, oh, huh, there's a SIM card on my desk. I know what that is. Um, that's rubbish. That went in the bin. The Teradek Wave, this product, to me looked like a competitor to the Live View Solo. What's the Live View Solo? Well, it's what I use. It's the flux capacitor, if you like. It's the thing that makes time travel possible. It's the thing that makes IRL live streaming possible. Um, it's an industry standard. This is what it is right here. I've got mine in my, this is how it attaches to my Big Peck via some uh, plug-in cables here and a little doozy on the back. Quite a bulky, it's relatively heavy, I guess. It's a big fat unit and into this unit goes, you can put four separate modems in here, four separate USB, uh, well, you can do two USB, one uh, ethernet and also um, one over Wi-Fi, I believe. I use it for two USB modems and this thing's been fantastic. But then this product from Teradek got announced called the Wave. It's kind of a little bit smaller and longer. It's got a big open panel, like a like an iPad, where you do everything touch. See, this thing here has got a tiny little screen on it. And sometimes when you're, especially when you're doing a driving stream and that's in your center and you're driving along and you might have lost bit rate. Sometimes it's hard to see the angle of the sun in the car and it's difficult to see. I thought this Wave product would be really, really cool. So I did a little, uh, a little video or a little YouTube live stream reviewing the unit. We take, took a look at it. Turns out Teradek saw that video, put me in contact with their product manager, lovely chap. We had a few chit chats here and there. He said, I want to get you a wave to see what you think. So we talked about that. And before he sent me the wave, we got conversing about how it would look in my setup. So I got a streaming big pick. That's a Kiwi for backpack. I'm not a Kiwi. I just like New Zealand, but I've got a big pick that I've sort of jerry rigged up. And the idea was that on the front sits my Live View Solo. So it's kind of flapping around out there. 
Then in each of these side pockets, I'd have one of my modems. This guy here, the Nighthawk M2 would sit in that side. On the other side would be my modem I'm using right now, so I cannot show it to you. It's a little uh, AC800 from Optus that sits in there. They all obviously feed in the backpack and they come around on the outside through this pocket and then they plug in directly to the LiveView Solo. The LiveView Solo has its own battery, but if you're gonna do 10, 12 hour streams like I do, you need to have a power source. So I'd always have in here a big power bank from Oz Power Banks, which would power the LiveView Solo and also would give power to this guy because you don't get power over ethernet so you got to keep this guy powered up as well so that would come from that power source and then of course my gh5 needs power that comes from a separate power bank a smaller one so quite a lot going on there i mean arguably one of the usb modems gets power through usb so that one the ac800 is cool but quite a lot going on there so when we talked about this Teradek wave, yo, Red what's up, gangsters? Redox pair, how you doing, man? I'll give you a little cheers. I didn't, I didn't give anybody a cheers. Good to see you, Redox. Yeah, when we were talking about this wave product and how it would fit into my setup, my concern was it's such a like it's a like an iPad, right? So how would that fit in there on the on the big of my big pack? How would that sit there? And the gentleman from Teradek said, man, how about this? How about I jerry rig you up? one of our own big packs because they got streaming big packs they call them the bond series by the way i'll give you a little linky poop right here in the chisel chat this will take you to the teradek website anything we talk about now you can go and have a look at yourselves but that's the link there to their site um so he was saying why don't i jerry rig you up one of our own bond big packs and we'll see how that goes and he did that and then he said before i send this to you man what about another product of ours we've got the wave this is a brand new product but what about a product we've already got out there for a while now it's called the video go now he was explaining it as quite literally the competitor to this guy so the wave is kind of like a new uh a new leg if you like or a new side angle of this concept but the existing competition in the market is the video you go and he said i'd like to send that to you as well see what you think of that so he did and we got talking about that the other day on a call and i was really excited because i'm about to go up to sydney and spend some time with doug in a hotel in darling harbour and i was thinking that might be the greatest time to test the video you go and then later on in another instance, which I won't tell you, only two people know about this second instance of something, but somewhere not too far from now, something kind of cool and big is happening. And I'm going to take both of these products there. But for the time being, I thought, let's let's get this. And so so my guy at Teradek, Jerry rigged the wave into this big peck. So I took it out and I Jerry rigged the video you go into the big peck. And I want to show you the product and how it sits in the big peck. <laughs> I might stop saying Big Peck because it is New Zealand and I'm Australian, but I just like the New Zealanders. So first of all, I guess this is the product, the Teradek Video Go. Now, first up, like look at the size difference, right? I mean, these things do the same thing, but look at this size difference here. Like, I don't know what to tell you, but you'd much rather smaller, right? In this case, smaller is better. Bigger and thicker and girth, get out of here. Smaller, svelte is much better. Now, you might say, well, how are you going to attach this to your big pick? Well, strangely enough, and oddly enough, the Live View Solo doesn't have any threads anywhere. I, yeah, that's kind of weird. I guess you could mount it through a thread on this, but there's a thread on the bottom here. So you can just, this is so small. You could thread this onto your uh, cold shoe on top of your camcorder and off you go, right? Now I'm using a big peck, so the jerry rig that uh, old mate at Teradek did has a lot of places to add things. So I actually found a combination of a few things to get a, a setup here where this thing screws in and then this sits in the big peck quite nicely. But what I wanna tell you about this product, which makes it so sick, See these side things here? They're panels that get can come off. These are removable panels. Now, why would you remove one of these panels? I'll show you. 
you take one of these off to access this USB port, this USB port is effectively where your modem plugs in. So in this case, the Nighthawk M2 would plug straight into there. Actually, my bad. Forget that. This one, because it's Ethernet, would go in the back. But you can also power this by uh, USB. So let's just let's just forget. Let's think this is my AC800 from Optus, the one I'm live streaming with. That would just go straight in there. But there's something even cooler about this, which kills the live view solo. So I've explained how I've got both of my modems and I've got to keep one of them powered up and they've got to be in the backpack and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This product is compatible with another product from Teradek. Looks like this. This is a modem of its own. This is a little modem that they, that they sell. What happens is, you might not be able to see, but right in there, point with this right in there is a slot for your sim card from your modem and then this thing slides in here and then there's these little screw caps here i think i'm doing that backwards the screw caps go it's a little awkward they both go opposite direction and i'm doing them the wrong way it sits in and then you got to work out which way it screws other way done this a few times and struggled each time to get to get it exact so it's screwed and by the way once it's on you wouldn't take it off so you might struggle the first time like I am right now but once you've got that on there it's it's pretty much a fixture you got to do it evenly though so once it's on catch the thread and they both go the opposite so one goes up and one goes down so yeah once that's on like that Basically, what you've got, and you use your noggin like I'm about to, that's a unit. And then, of course, what do you got on the other side? Another one. So you could basically have another one of these modems. Now, at this point, um, Teradex shipped me one of them, not two. So I'm, it's kind of cool. I'm going to be able to plug in one of my USB modems in here and this one on the other side. That is a That is huge. Why is that so huge? because now I don't even need to take this modem. So arguably this is the one that needs power. So this is not coming with me. The SIM card is in here. So now this unit powers this modem. This modem is more powerful than this modem. This modem works hand in hand with this unit and you can put another one on that side. So then you'd have two modems two separate 4Gs and you could also have your ethernet from a third one and you can attach Wi-Fi to it as well. Once that's going, it has its own power source, which gives you about two, I think two and a half hours worth of battery. But of course you can power that like I do from my own power bank with a USB-C uh, that just plugs straight into the back here, USB type C. Off you go, you got power for that. Incredible. Um, Swiss Hotel. So that's where we're going. Moving to Seabull Darling Harbour today. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so this is sick. This is so rad. But the real rad thing I want to show you is the Bic Pack. This is the Bic Pack that Teradek Jerry rigged for me. Check this out. Look how swish this thing looks. Now you've got my cable run coming out here for... So essentially this is the same setup as before. I've got... GH5 will sit up here. GH5 will take power from a power bank that will be inside the big pack down here. So let's just get rid of that for the time being. We've also got a cable run there for my iPhone for the chat because I've got an iPhone 6. No, it's an iPhone 7 Plus. It's pretty ancient though. So let me open this and show it to you. I don't want to bang that microphone. So what you see here, inside here is this Jerry Rig. Oh shit, almost pressed my stream deck. Inside here is the Jerry Rig setup where this device will sit. Actually, it goes up this way. No, it goes that way. Does it? Which way did I put it? Yeah, I put it that way. So it sits like this against that section there. And then 
Inside this big pack, underneath here, I've got my power bank. And I'm not taking this one, but I'm taking the AC800. That'll sit in there. And then effectively you've got everything good to live stream from location in one tidy little backpack. Really cozy backpack too. I put it on before. And you can also, um, you got this section at the front here, which I've zipped up now, but there's all my uh, power like cables for charging. So when this thing goes flat, um, well, when the power bank dies after a 10 hour stream, and then the two and a half hours of this is out, overnight you can charge it back up, just a little type C uh, power cable. You got all the power, all the batteries you need charged up there. I've also got some personal items in here, some little, um, you know, uh, lights and uh, wind cats for the microphone when it gets windy. All that stuff sits in a tidy little backpack. And then the best part about it is, you can see into it from the top. So you can verify, yeah, the stream's still good, right? Everything's still good by looking into the top. It's so sick, so sick. So Teradek have supplied that. Oh, I should, I should make this extremely clear. All this gear is review unit only. This isn't Teradek sponsoring me. This isn't Teradek giving me the product. This is review units only. The idea though, is if this is better or if this works more, um, well, we've already done a test, but if it works, it, it already looks better, right? It already looks better, it already feels better. If it is better, at some point, I would like to buy this gear. But as it stands right now, this is a review unit to be shipped back to Teradex. So don't get don't get concerned. Why isn't Gibbs getting paid sponsorship notifications on YouTube? This isn't a paid deal. This is not a gift unit. This is a review unit. These are review units. I have the wave here. I won't show that to you yet because like I said, I'm gonna hold off on that until I wanna do this first and then something big's coming my way uh, at all. that point. I'll probably use the wave uh, in that instance, but wow. Uh, looking forward to catching the new setup today. Yeah, Aero Gamer. So I'll be with Aero Gamer later on today. Um, mm. That's going to be fun, man. I'm really looking forward to seeing this gear working up in Sydney. Um, one other thing I was going to mention about it. What was it? Um, oh, you obviously need to use this in conjunction with a bonding service. So the same with the Live View Solo. You have the product, then you have to bond the connections for stability. Uh, once that goes up, then then it goes on from there to your streaming service. Just a little side note I'll, I'll mention as well. When I was talking with the, the guy from Teradek, um, initially the first time we spoke, uh, he was just talking about the products and the lineup and whatnot, getting pretty excited for what he, what he has or what they have, what Teradek have. And I was sort of just talking about my workflow and I mentioned um, IRL streaming, the, in my mind, the biggest frustration is, and it's related to YouTube, doesn't seem to affect DLive so much, but when your stream drops, YouTube will start a new stream on a different URL. And so all your viewers won't know where you are when it comes back. Like I said, on DLive, something to do with their ingest or their CDN, it somehow gives you a little extra buffer zone. And often the stream will, they call it a stitched playback when you go to get the VOD. So it's stopped the stream stopped but then the stream is still the same stream so i was explaining how that sucks because well dlive removed the vod after 25 days and i like my irls to exist forever the, the vod uh and i found a service called go light stream which you know you guys all know i've been using that for quite a while uh, and how sick that is because literally it lets you apply uh like a jpeg we've got the suki the photograph of the bird and it says dang who took all my 4g uh, sit tight i will be back and what what go lightstream does is it must have an algorithm or a mathematics and when it sees that your bit rate goes below a particular number so if you're driving for instance and you go between 4g towers as soon as that bit rate drops that's where the stream would end on youtube but if you're going through go lightstream first It'll just go, oh, he's got no bitrate. Bang, put up this JPEG image. Stream continues. So the stream gets fed to YouTube. YouTube receives a flawless, uninterrupted stream. As soon as you get bitrate back, go light stream kicks back in and off you go. And the, the viewer, usually at that point, I tell, well, we've already had the discussion that go out and grab yourself a coffee or go and take a slash or go and 
get a bottle of Jack Daniels or whatever it is and come back because I'll never, I'll never, ever, ever end a stream on that. That's always temperamental or temporary. Um, and I was explaining that to the, to this guy at, at uh, Terra Deck and he let me go and I was ranting and raving because honestly, that is a, that is a huge thing for an IR. And not only that, Go Lightstream lets you add all of your custom alerts. So whenever someone drops a lemon, it comes up, right? Whenever that donation comes through, it goes through Go Lightstream. So it's it's almost like, well, it is. You've basically got your home set up mobile. And I was raving about it and just basically wanking off hard about Go Lightstream. And then when I finish, he goes, oh yeah, that's one of our products. I was like, what? What do you mean one of your products? And he's yeah, well, we, we bought that quite a while ago. It's one of our umbrella products. We've, we've bought this company, this company, this company. Go and search up Teradek, folks. Go and have a look at their website. They got a lot going on. And yeah, Go Lightstream is one of theirs. Here's the video you go that I've that I've just showed you here. If you want to see what it's all about, and you can do some of your own research. Um, anyone can stream live, but not everyone can make it professional. With video you go, with video you go, your live production is taken to the next level with broadcast quality, 1080p, 60 bonded network redundancy and cutting edge HEVC. I didn't mention that. I don't use that compression, but if you need the HEVC, uh, that's definitely an option for you. Although I understand right now, Go Lightstream won't ingest HEVC. So if you're using this in conjunction with Go Lightroom, uh, Go Light, Go Lightroom, Go Lightstream, you might have to not use that compression technique. Um, from what I understand, HEVC is a great way to send out uh, the same amount of data but make the stream look better. Uh, so a, uh, H.264 is what, what I use and what most people use, but HEVC is a, is a bit of a better compression technique. So yeah, this is how it would look if you if you logged it on top of your uh, cold shoe. Now I don't do it that way, but that'd be pretty rad. I should probably make my GH5 a little too top heavy, right? Um, but yeah, nice looking units. Sometimes you need to go live in a pinch, so we simplified the boot up and configuration process. Okay, so I forgot to mention that, but I guess that's kind of no different to the LiveView Solo at that point. You have to go into the LiveView portal, and in this case, uh, you go into the um, back end of the, what do they call it? It's not called, oh, dude, I apologize. I cannot recall what it's called. It's called, um, no. Nah. I thought it would come up. I can't think what it's called. It's their bonding bonding service. And you go into the back end. Once you've set it up, you don't need to touch it though. So you can start everything from here on the device. Um, which is why I want to do this today, because this is this is still fresh in my mind, but I haven't streamed from it yet. Like I did a test stream, but I haven't been out in the wild. So Doug, I don't know where I'm gonna meet you, if I'm gonna stream before I see you, or if I'm gonna come and meet you and then we're gonna go. I'll leave it up to you, but the first part of it could be a little tricky for me, or not a little tricky, but it, it's gonna be a walk through. Yeah, I mean, it, we'll work it out, it, sh it should, be fine. should be fine. But yeah, there's their website if you wanna go and have a little look ski yourself, comparing models and whatnot and seeing what you've got there. Uh, bonded networks, it'll tell you the, um, it'll tell you their system here, I guess. Yeah, very cool. Like, how cool is that for for a device though to slide these two little modems on? Bam! Share link. This is what I was trying to remember. That you got to go into the share link and set it up. But once you've set it up, off you go. Share link, and they've got this core one as well. But the share link one is the one that we focused on. Bonding, multiple platform delivery. Oh, and HEV support isn't even sh on share link yet. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Very cool, folks. Very, very cool. I'm super pumped, super excited. Like I said. These are review units, but I'm keen to give them a good try and a good test and report back. Um, so when we do stream like this, I'd like to hear from you guys if if you think it looks better or, I mean, probably at your end as the viewer, you won't really notice any difference. I'll notice the difference carrying that big pack as opposed to that one. I'll definitely notice that difference. There is something to be said about this though, as you would be aware, that's it. I can't put homebrews in there. My other big peck I can slide in two long necks of homebrew or a couple of bottles of something. Here it's the unit itself. And if you wanna take drinky poos, another bag is the option. So there's always an up and a downside, but that's not a very big downside, but I just thought I'd alert that to you or let you know about that. Abby Key, how you doing? I didn't see you before. Abby, good to see you. 
how many how are we looking here on likes is because we're gonna get out of here i guess pretty soon uh we got eight likes and six watching hey that's a good ratio that's a great ratio thank you for the likes does anybody have any questions before we wrap this does anybody got any questions they want to ask about this um like i said in the next what is it now 9 30 in about i guess maybe i guess i'll start the stream about 4 p.m maybe 3 30 or something it'll be a little bit later than usual it'll be across the across the board we'll be doing this on d live and everywhere um but if there are no questions i'll say fare thee well tata and we'll get on and uh, i'll get up to sydney and doug i'll come see you um we'll work out what we're doing are we going to meet each other first or am i going to go live and then you come and meet me we'll work it out anyway but uh uh props to teradek thanks for the gear looking forward to today i'll see you yahoos later on i guess yeah see you on the flip side sydney style uptown sydney downtown darling harbour oh yeah get out of there Go on, get him out of there.